Hi, I'm Lake Goglin, agronomist with Sound Agriculture for South Dakota and North Dakota. Today I'm coming to you from a cornfield in Southeast South Dakota and we're gonna talk about fall fertilizer and how source could fit into that management plan. Now, a few things to consider before making a fall application of fertilizer. Number one on my list is to always, always have a recent soil test of the field you plan on fertilizing. Not only can this help catch nutrient deficiencies before they show up in the crop, can also see pH imbalances, cation exchange capacity, salts in the soil, all these things that can lead to potential nutrient tie-up, which will affect the crop next spring. And then using that soil test, creating a recommendation based on your yield goal to make sure that that plant has enough fertilizer come next spring. Now, there is a risk of potential nutrient tie-up after any application of fertilizer, but especially in the fall when we're applying nutrients like phosphorus, potassium, or zinc that form chemical bonds in the soil, which can be a good thing when it comes to preventing things like surface runoff or leaching, but in the spring, those bonds can be very difficult to break. So that's where an in-crop application of source can help activate the microbiome and unlock those nutrients that you're going to apply this fall. And always remember the four R's of nutrient management. Right source, right amount, right time, and right place. Now if you have any questions about any of this or you just want to talk about source, feel free to give me a call at 605-350-1410 or reach out to your regional sales manager or account executive. Thank you and I hope you have a very safe fall harvest season.